So a common concern that I get from agents curious about joining DeFord Insurance Group is what if they've got a carrier or two or many tied up with an organization, one of those three letter IMOs, and they've heard that they cannot get released, they can, cannot move those companies over, therefore maybe they should sit out for a period of time before pursuing uh, this wonderful business known as selling insurance. My response is very simple. You don't have to move those carriers over to work with the Ford Insurance Group. We have over, I think somewhere between 20 and 25 really good final expense carriers, not all that we use all the time, but some we can use in cases where maybe you're stuck with a certain carrier because your IMO is a stickler and they don't want to release you. So if you're concerned about releases joining the Ford Insurance Group, understand that's no big deal. We will ask you to terminate those contracts. And the good news is you might most likely will be able to move those over, not producing with them after six plus months. But in the beginning, if you're in that position where you're worried about, I can't move because of pre-existing uh, business relationships, don't. We'll hook you up, we'll fix it up. We've got tons of carriers you probably don't have. And the thing is, at the end of the day, your, your clients aren't gonna know this is the difference. They do business with you, not with the carriers because they feel strongly about who you are and that you're looking out for their welfare. The carriers are kind of a second or third afterthought. And the good news is there's plenty of good ones out there. It's not like you're gonna shortchange your carrier. So don't let that deter you from investigating more about joining DeFord Insurance Group. We'll definitely help you out. And to do so, go to daviddeford.com forward slash FAQ to learn more about how our wonderful opportunity works for agents interested in being successful selling insurance. Thank you.